the only reason to be upset about Scarlett Johansson being in Ghost in the Shell is if you don't know how the movie industry works. Now, I'm not white splaining or mansplaining, I guess, because I'm a guy or whatever type of splaining you want to do, but let me professional splain something to you because it's important and I think you're mad at the wrong people. Because you should be mad, but you're mad at the wrong people if you're mad at the studio or the director or the actress or the film industry. Because what's broken is cultural and has little to do with that. So first of all, let me explain to you how getting a movie with the scale and budget of Ghost in the Shell with big robots and cybernetics and a lot of CG, getting that made works. Well, first it has to be bought by a studio. Studios work through distribution models. Distribution models are fueled by imaginary metrics, which are treated like a religion having to do with stars and marketability of certain movies. So, and, and so, so, so basically what you're looking at is a system in which there used to be a bunch of A-list celebrities, uh, and A-list celebrities meant different things to different regions, because studios have to make their money back, and they do that by selling tickets. So, in, in theory. This is just the way the mental theory works. So, recently, as recently as about 10 years ago, there stopped being big stars. There are fewer and fewer stars who mean anything, and that's why I don't know if you've noticed that you see people like Isla Fisher, or Nicolas Cage, or all these people, now you see them in less and less important movies. Julia Roberts was just in a movie, limited release, but Julia Roberts is a movie star. Kevin Costner's in this movie, criminal. Kevin Costner's a movie star. There are really like only 10 or 15 men who get movies made. Two of them are black, Denzel and Will Smith. Um, the rest are white. And then there are about like five women who can get your movie made. Uh, one of them is Scarlett Johansson, because of Lucy, and uh, I think they're all distressingly white. Now, this wasn't always how it was. There was a time in the 80s and 90s where the property, a property like Akira or Ghost in the Shell or, uh, you know, X-Men or any of these things, could afford to have actors in it who weren't huge names. But now, look at who gets cast in things. You, you don't see people getting their stars made by being in superhero movies. You see them just being identified as that superhero, and oftentimes they were already kind of famous. I mean, the last person to sort of break out was Chris Hemsworth, but Chris Hemsworth doesn't mean money right now. Trust me. I know. He, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's incredibly fucked up. It doesn't matter how good the actor is. It doesn't matter what race there is. It's just their track record. And even sometimes their track record doesn't matter. There are no A-list female Asian celebrities right now on an international level. They're, 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 it, it's, it's infuriating. There used to be, in the 90s, there used to be diversity in our A-list actors. Jackie Chan and Jet Li were famous at the same time. They could both get movies made. We don't have that guy anymore. We don't even have Lucy Liu anymore. We, we don't even have like one you can name. And that's not the fault of the movie industry, really. That's culture and it's movies getting more and more afraid because movies make less and less money. Even though the huge movies make more money than ever, the little movies don't make as much. And a risky movie with a crazy concept like Ghost in the Shell, you better fucking believe they're going to cast Scar Scarlett Johansson because they need the movie to work. Casting Scarlett Johansson is like the best thing that could have happened to that movie. Because now you get a Ghost in the Shell movie. As much as I would love a world in which actors, or in which properties and ideas and stories are bigger than actors, that's not the world we're living in. There is one property, one, that is bigger than the actors inside of it. You know what it is? Star Wars. You know who they cast in the lead? A white girl. So there you go. We had Harry Potter. They could have made one of them Asian and created a new Asian celebrity, or black and created a new black celebrity, but they didn't because everyone would have gotten so pissed off. You see, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're mad about Scarlett Johansson being cast in Ghost in the Shell, the truth of the matter is you're mad at the wrong people. You shouldn't be mad at the film industry because they're operating out of fear. Them trying to CG white actors, that insane thing, was them trying to make it work in their weird, dumb way. Like, weird, racist, Asian, blackface way. They were still going like, oh, well, we need to be true to the property. And yeah, it's stupid, 
but it's functionally the only way they could probably get a green light was with Scarlett Johansson. So you enter this incredibly complicated world. I envy people who think that the world is black and white and things are easy, but when you ask why they didn't cast one of thousands of Asian actors to play the lead in Ghost in the Shell, you shouldn't be asking that. You should be asking why they we don't have any A-list Asian celebrities in America right now who could have played that role. That's the big question. And if you're mad about this, you should be. But you shouldn't be mad at any one person. You should be mad at a system full of grays.